Hi Scorpio, so welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? I am sporting a little bit of a, I think more than 30 carat amethyst pendant and at least 15 carat of a natural citrine. Okay. I don't know. I just feel like sharing. <laughs> so no, I'm just modeling. It's not mine. This is our new collection. It's coming soon. Okay. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, so I try to see the future, not your ex. It's so easy to see the ex. You can look at your phone book and they've never changed. Exactly. It's always been marked red. No kidding. Here we go. Let's see. So, what do you guys have for me? Mm -hmm. I'm using a new deck also. Never been seen. Mm -hmm. Just like the person also that you dated. <laughs> so, what are you going to do is dirty. Here we go. Okay, let's see. You got three of soul. <laughs> Why? I tried to be as happy for you. Oh. <laughs> so a three of swords here. Uh, if you see that, let me see. Maybe there's a different meaning. <laughs> okay. So you see there, there are performers. This is called the Cirque, uh, Cirque du Tarot. Okay. There are performers here who are sacrificing themselves for the amusement of many. So this, this is not like a regular Tree of Swords, you know. Um, I'm seeing here for you, don't sacrifice yourself, okay? Because, you know, for the pleasure that, let's just say, as long as the person is happy, I'll do that. Mm. Ah, that's just catering to a codependent relationship. As long as they get the one and they who good, then I should be fine. No, you're not. Because you see here, you're hurting from the inside. And look at this. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. Mm -hmm. That you keep doing this every time probably that you're in a relationship. You committed that you are the sacrificial lamb. Mm. So this is going to be a first card. is the strongest. <laughs> okay. Let's see. You got the three of pentacles. Which is good because coming out from the three of swords. You never had issues building yourself back again from that dysfunctional relationship. Because this is starting new. Now, the Three of Pentacles here shows that you are putting things together. Mm -hmm. This is your life. You're trying to coordinate again a new beginning in your life, which is good after this incident. So a breakup, new person, building yourself. This is it. And a hermit, which, of course, it requires for you for some R&R, rest and relaxation. So you took a time out from dating. Ooh, you took a time out. Okay, time out. Time out. Okay, because they're always foul. <laughs> time out, time out. Mm -hmm. So you took time out from it. The hermit, find yourself. Mm. Hermit, you basically left, you know, left the arena. The hermit is always looking for answers. So now you're looking for a person was going to be good to you instead of what has happened before. Because you played a hero. You played a, you played a, uh, a Mariah, basically. Mm, you played a Mariah. Or the bodyguard. Mm -hmm. Whitney. You got the Knight of Wands. Okay. And you always wonder why you why you like to date F-boys or F-girls. Okay. Make me scratch my head over here. Mm. Because with the Hermit and the Knight of Wands, sometimes you get into relationship only because, you know, there is that desire for passion, connection, intimacy. This is what you're looking at now. Okay. Now, I see here, as you have removed yourself from that situation, you also became a Knight of Wands. Which means, like, you started to think, like, okay, this is the relationship. And now you're looking at it where um, it's like, I just don't want anything serious right now. You know, it's like, I'll just... I just go with the flow and have fun. That's that one. Now, for others, Three of Swords, the Hermit, and the Knight of Wands, it shows that you rem someone has ghosted you, okay? And this is the reason why they broke up with you is that they were with someone else. Three of Pentacles can be someone who is uh, from their work. 
Okay, so if they ghosted you, they were in a relationship or they were connecting with someone from their work. Knight of Wands is there. Mm -hmm. So let me see here. Man, I was channeling a good energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Okay. Maybe this is as good as it gets. <laughs> I'm kidding, Scorpio. You got the Queen of Swords. Okay, and the Six of Swords. You cut the person, right? You don't talk to them anymore. Mm, that's the Queen of Swords. You three and six, definitely distance now, long distance, not a relationship. You really went far, you left, okay? This is where you find your victory. This is where you find yourself again, which is good. Okay, we'll have a good transformation if this is what you're serving us right now. Mm -hmm. You have the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess. Oh, here it is. The same person has betrayed you is basically playing mind games with you right now. You receive a message. You get the swords of the Queen of Swords. There's a message. They sent you a message. This person doesn't even know why they message you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're not sure. They're puzzled. Okay, why did they even message? Because they come out of the hiding. Remember, they ghosted you. High Priestess in the Hermit, that's ghosting. Mm. That's hiding. Mm. You are playing coy, nonchalant, you know, when they message. Now, the high priestess here, look at that. She controls the show. So this person is thinking about you if they can still control how this connection is going to be. After the separation, they can turn things around because they still love you, the lovers. This is the backstage, mm -hmm. the backstage. So what you find out as you left this person is like, yeah, you did love them. Mm -hmm. Um, you tried to find yourself, mm -hmm. understand yourself, you know, because there was separation. This person is thinking that, do you still love them? I, I don't know why it didn't work out with who they went with, but they got separated from that person also. So now that's why they're communicating with you is because they're single and available. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Um, you're a five of cups, so you're calling this person it's like you're a mess. You know, every time this person comes into your life, they're just spreading out the mess over here with the five of cups. And you, of course, is the one who's picking up after the mess. Hi, yeah, yeah, Scorpio. Okay, the hangman. Can we get a star card at least? Eight of cups. Okay. The hangman over here and the knight of wands. Uh, this is definitely a traitor. Um, eight of cups over here. Let me see. Mm -hmm. You have a hard time understanding why you why you stayed with this person for so long. Mm -hmm. To the point that you were drowning in your feelings and your emotion. Things has overlapped because you, you really claim that now this is my person. I love them. I love them. I love them. So now you drown yourself here with a hangman. Thinking that eight of cups right here, this is what it's meant to, this is what it means to love. Oh boy, you got a lot to learn then, you know. Because you felt like, no, this is what is love. I need to be dedicated, you know, because this is a challenge to walk away. Look at that. You know, this person is trying to put things together, even though it's overwhelming. And here is your overwhelming card, which is a hangman. Mm -hmm. And then here is like, oh, no, you know, it's like, but I love this person. So what do I do? You know, and then you got the lovers. You guys made a promise to each other. And here we go. How you wind up in this situation again, which is the three of swords. Queen of Swords over here shows that you got the message. Now it's just a question for you too. If you're gonna reply, if you will work it out. Mm -hmm. You got the Hierophant, oh boy. There is that call center agent. No, okay, call center, because she has a headset. She's a coordinator of the, of the party, okay? So with the Hierophant over here, of course, the full moon is gonna happen in Sidereal Taurus in December 18 which means that something is going to manifest during this time, which is for you to your seventh house. And it's a knight of pentacles, someone who has hold back, who you have waited for. Now they're in a spotlight of your life. For some reason, your life has shifted again. Your attention is in relationship and partnership when before it wasn't. And this person has been holding back for so long. And then now that they're going to message you, they don't know, so these are swords, what will, you be, what will your response be? How will you react to this communication? Because they knew and they know that you have a hard time letting go of them. But as soon as you were able to, Queen of Swords, they started to question 
I thought a Scorpio is never gonna leave me. But then, you did. Oh boy, what kind of deck is this? <laughs> Link down there in the description box below. Scorpio, okay. So if you're trying to work out a relationship, the best time is this full moon that is coming, okay? Um, go to my site if you want to manifest a relationship. I have a box specially made for Scorpio. It is December 18th, so there is a cutoff before we start shipping our wonderful, wonderful uh, full moon manifestation box, okay? So thank you very much, Scorpio, for watching. Follow me down there. I'll see you guys. Bye.